Hello everybody, welcome to Forrest Gump. Life is like a box of chocolates, question mark, question mark, question mark. Sorry, you know what? I'm not feeling well today. However, it's not gonna stop me from doing me goal. Now, yesterday we were reading the real story of Annalise Michael, which is based on the story movie the exorcism of emily rose and this book is out of print i bought it 13 years ago had to special order it and yesterday we left off going through annalise michael's father mother the relationships and the sisters and brothers on annalise michael's uh both sides of the family two sisters were nuns and back in 1959 in Germany, you were either a nun or you could apply for college to be a teacher. So they're explaining Annalise's background with her parents. And they all seem like very stable, hardworking, um, carpentry, farming, you name it, they did it. Upon returning from the war, Okay, Joseph Michael, which is Annalise's father, found his parents' home and his community nearly untouched by the ravages of air attacks that had destroyed the larger cities. In earlier centuries, it was considered dangerous to live in a small community in a time of war. It was much more likely to be looked and its inhabitants murdered by arm armies passing through oh its fortifications were so much weaker than those of the larger cities it reminds me of what's going on in gaza right now in the period of modern wealth warfare being a small community proved to be an ad um, an advantage and klingenberg is very small it houses not quite three thousand souls located in the district of Aubernburg, Aubernburg in Bavaria, one of the islands of Western Germany. It looks out on the narrows of the main river. This is where the ladder breaks through between the rolling forest hills separating the Odenwald and the Ooh, S-P-E-S-S-A-R-T. Annalise loved her hometown. And a print of its peaked roofs nestling into the valley hung over the sofa bed in which she died. On the hillside's vineyards climbed the slopes in frayed rectangles. The peasants whose home Klinenberg remains to this day have known how to make red wine for over two millennia. For the art of winemaking was introduced to them by the Russians. Here and there, a stone from the ancient Russian settlement that once stood here turns up the walls and the terracks on which the grapes are grown, tourists come to taste the wine in the taverns of Klingenberg, and in the church of priests, blessing turns it into the blood of the Lord. A castle guards the breakthrough, the narrows between the folding hills. In its time, it housed some pretty noble robber, robber barons who took their toll of the boats floating toward the Rhine with their cargoes of grain and wine. Today's school children come in on the train that connects Klingenberg with the larger town of Miltenberg and with Aschaffenberg. Yeah, Aschaffenberg, Aschaffenberg. The district capital where Annalise attended high school laid low by the powder charge of some long forgotten French soldier, the brick battlements had blocked the path 
of the armies of Louis the X I V which came through here in the late 1680s to assert the claim of their son king to wine rich Palestine they left dead peasants felled fruit trees and scorched vineyards it had been the second time in a century that this had occurred for two generations early in the pondering atrocities of the 30 years war had left similar scars so did the peasant upsprings a century earlier when some of the restless tortured and beheaded after their defeat young Klingenberg attacked the nobles in the castle only to be tortured and beheaded after their defeat but in a time where other sons new vineyards were planted and the civilizations carried on as before there is a great persistence in these village towns when 50 years ago passive cows glanced with one eye through tiny first story or cellar windows and warmed the upper upper floor for the people with their massive body heat the large homes of the wine of the wine growers today from the core of a popular recreation area, recreation area, new streets with modern houses reach out among the hills and along the main river. That is where the owners and the workers of the city pits live. The latter are located in the hills near Klingenberg, as in the small plant where pressure gauges are as assembled. Annalise's family also has a house like that. It is surrounded by trees and ornamental shrubs and the vineyards rise at the back fence. The window on the left side looked out over the cemetery where Annalise lies buried. Some of the workers in Klingenberg industry and commercial enterprises are newcomers. Carried along by the whirling waters of the Great War, but most, like Annalise's parents, are from families founded by the younger children of the wine growers, from families founded by the younger children of the wine growers for whom there were no terraces or fields left to subdivide. Modern industry created new ways of living for them in their ancient town. That's interesting. That's interesting. Because if you look at Annalise's history with her parents, I mean, I'm going to listen to this and digest it one more time. And if I have any comments, I'll come back on. Look at I still have mascara under my eyes. Sorry. You know what? I just wanted to get a little bit of a readout because I'm telling you, this book is getting... I can't wait to get... To when they start talking about Annalise, but it's important to know the history of the town, the history of Germany, the history of the war. Her father fought in the war. Her her sisters or father's two sisters were nuns. And again, she chose to go to school, but she wanted to be a nun at one point. Just so you know. And I always keep my angel around when I'm reading this book. All right, friends you wonderful enigmas. Thank you and be kind to yourself. And I'm gonna go do the same now. <laughs> I'm serious. This isn't, was, this wasn't snuggly wuggly time for me. I got a kukaroo. I do, I got a go. Have a good eight day everybody. Be kind to yourselves, okay? And I'm gonna go do the same right now. Okay, God bless.